Hello, welcome back. Bistec empanado. Puerto Rican style. La ma grandmother, mi abuelita, used to cook it when I was in the kitchen when I was 9, 10, 11 years old, watching her and pretty much following her same technique. Bistec empanado is pretty much um, breaded steak. That's how we call it in the United States. In South America, they might call it um, filete a la milanesa. In other uh, Caribbean country, it might be called viste empanizado. It doesn't matter. I'm sharing my grandmother technique with you. But before I start, remember to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, share this video. That actually would be my preference because it allow others to learn something that I learned as a child and I want to share with you. Great comment. I will reply to them. But more importantly, go nowhere. Let's create. So let's start with ingredients. I have some cube steaks. I have uh, oregano, I have some uh, pure ground black pepper, I also have some garlic which I'm going to smash, I have some salt, I'm going to put the Himalayan salt but the regular salt is fine, as long as it's fine salt. Some extra virgin olive oil, doesn't matter the brand. I'm going with this one because that's the one that my grandmother used to use for this particular meal. And I'm going to use some uh, go, um, vinegar. And I'm going to go with the hyper salt of vinegar. I do like this brand, by the way. And, of course, I'm going to use the breadcrumbs. And I went with a low cost one, already ready to go. Um, actually, what my grandmother used to do, she used to take crackers. No, uh, you know, the saltine crackers, but without the salt. So just crackers. And she used to smash them. And she used to use that as, a, as the crumbs. But I went the easy route. Bought the already breadcrumbs. Plain. No seasoning. I'm sure it's plain. And I have an egg. This is what we call in Puerto Rico a pilon. You put the garlic there and you're going to smash them very well. If you don't have a pilon, you can put uh, the garlic in a Ziploc bag. And do something similar. Smash it out. It is. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you had you, uh, what we call in Puerto Rico, bistec. You bistec or cube steak in a contain container, but for purpose of this meal, I'm going to call it bistec, that we call in Puerto Rico. So what you're going to do, you're going to add some salt. To add a little bit of pepper, making this baby tasty. Add your oregano. Oh, it smells so good. And then what you do is you grab about, let me see, a couple of caps from your vinegar. And I'm using this one, upper cider. You can use actually the white one too, by the way. And a cap or two of the oil. 
and you mix things well. You can add some uh, powder onion if you want to, but that's up to you. But now what you do is the garlic, the asmatch using the pilon. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to add the baby too. Ooh, they're smelling good. Once again, if you don't have a pilon, you can use zip lock plastic paper. Put it out here. Add it too. The thing is you don't want chunks, hard chunks of this. Then you mix it up again. Mix it up well. And what you're going to do now, you're going to put this in the refrigerator. And you're going to leave it there for maybe 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30. And then you take it out and then you go to the next stage. But you want these ingredients to, to start mixing and the aromatics and the taste. You want it to soak into this food. So you have your egg, you break it and you... You know, you mix it up together. I actually decided to go with two eggs, just in case, two eggs. First thing you're going to do, you're going to grab this baby. You're going to get a little bit wet. Just a little bit, not wet, but uh, some of these crumbs. Then you move to the egg, put it there, both sides, you know, get away with the egg. And then you come here and you get some of the crumbs on it. And then when you get that crumb on it, stick into it. You come, you transfer to a plate, and you repeat the process with the other ones. Let me grab a small one. I, I like to get it set up with a little bit of crumb, then go to the egg, get them wet. It's like the glue, right? Make sure you wash your hands because you know you're dealing with raw egg here after you handle this stuff and you're dealing with raw meat. But I'm going old school like my grandmother used to do it with her hands. Remembering her. Biste. This biste. See? So you want to make sure this uh, pan is hot and using vegetable oil, actually. Uh, I don't want to, I mean, I used that vegetable oil for something else earlier. So I'm not going to throw it away, I'm going to use it again. I traditionally cook with extra virgin olive oil, but for this, I'm going to use this one. And, you know, this is high heat. You're going to add this baby. And you're going to make sure it's cooked. And you might want to cook it on one side for like two minutes because this is kind of thin. If it was a little bit thicker, maybe three minutes. And then you turn it and do the same from the other side. Please note, oh, this smells good. Please note when you cook this kind of, uh, of uh, bistec, the Puerto Rican style, this type of bistec, you're not cooking it medium rare, rare, no, you're cooking it. <laughs> I mean, you're not frying it, frying it, but you're cooking it. You don't want it bloody, anything like that. You make sure it's cooked. 
tiene poco menos, acá en su sonora. Come to lower the heat uh, to couple notches about medium. Although I like it a little bit toasty, I don't want it too dark. You put another here. So once they're cooked, I transfer them to you know, a plate or paper plate or whatever, I put some napkins, let that grease soak out. <laughs> wow. Perfect.